folks, welcome to Deep Dive. I'm Jay, and today with me, I have amazing Jade, who's going to show us how she uses FigJam as part of her design process at Atlassian and also share some advanced tactics. Jade, super stoked to have you. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, I'm so keen to get into it. Jade, how do you use FigJam as part of your design process? Yeah, for sure. So this is the FigJam lo-fi that you may have swill. So lo-fi obviously can be in sketches, but in FigJam as well, you can wireframe your lo-fi mock as cheaply as you can. So this is just using boxes and circles to convey an idea. But question. Yeah. Why why use low fidelity wireframes in FigJam to convey an idea when you have an existing design system? Why not just go high fidelity in Figma? Maybe spend 30 more minutes or one hour extra or however long it takes. Yeah, great idea. So I guess like in itself, depending on the projects, depending how many lo-fi explorations, you just want to quickly get as many concepts as possible. So that's when lo-fi could be useful. Some cases, hi-fi and going straight there actually does save you time because as you said, we have an existing components, we have existing design systems. But I find also having things visualized in this lo-fi way, even when you're sparring or communicating with stakeholders, actually focuses the feedback on what you want. So for example, in this lo-fi, you're like, okay, I want you to focus on the concepts. You remove all these details. Oh, this icon might be strange and you remove a bunch of those things that other people might be thinking about that could influence the perception of what you're actually trying to get feedback about. So it helps communicate the state that you're in. Figma, sometimes if I do a lo-fi, but it's through an actual screen. Sometimes I also use like Comic Sans to communicate a similar thing. Cause I'll be like, oh, like this is just the concepts. I just want that early feedback. Like this is not really a, I guess you could consider this lo-fi and like the cheapest way, but I've got a hi-fi mock here. I've, con I've conveyed there might be this toolbar that pops up from the bottom. And so this is the lo-fi. And then the hi-fi could be something like, something like this that pops up in like the next iteration. But you've already communicated the concepts through the interaction of whatever's the best way that you need. So it could be redrawing it in Fig Jam, in which case we did it for these flows. It could just be using a screen and scribbling on top, or it could be building it out and maybe like changing the fidelity of fonts and things like that. But yeah, these are some low fires. You can see here actually there's a, I think Kim made this one, but here's an example of lo-fi on a hi-fi screen just the highest level we just wanted to figure out okay what are different things we can enable here um and it was just a quick way to do this as well jade i got a meta question for you <laughs> yeah how do you use jira as part of your design workflow yeah so i definitely use jira to work with the engineering team so jira is like the work gets done and so i find it also since I like being in Figma, I also just like getting a quick update of what my engineers are doing. And so I tend to use this Jira plugin which you can use from Figma and I can see what Jira issues are correlating to my frames. So I can see there's an issue here where my engineer was working on this dropdown, but it's nice because you can see the status. So I know they're finished working on it. Yeah, I also use Jira just to do things like document bugs and things like that. And so the whole team rallies around Jira as a place to document work that's going on. So this is amazing. Let me dive in a little bit deeper. So I know this work is already done. It's marked as done. But when you did the dev handoff, rather than looking at or setting up meetings with the engineer or pinging them on Slack, what you're doing is you're just clicking on that specific frame and opening up the Jira plugin to see if there's any comments by the engineer, if there's any issues with the design. Yeah, you could definitely do that. Like, I find that you can just get a quick overview. Like, you definitely can still talk to them on Slack to see, but it's just easier if you just wanted a quick sense check of, okay, where are they at? You can just see, like, quickly process or if there's anything coming up. Um, you can also do this on Jira itself through the web, but when I'm in Figma and I'm just like, have this thought of, oh, I should check. I find the plugin useful just to quickly look and then you can be in and out basically. 
Hey folks, this is Jay. It means the world to me that you watch this video. Let me know in the comments what topics you want me to cover in the future, and I will see you in the next deep dive.